guys, welcome back to another video, and today I found a laptop in the Best Buy bin. You might be wondering, how the heck do you find a laptop in that bin? Well, there is a box on the top, and this thing was just ca casually sitting in there, just like, hey, what up, grab me. And, yeah, this is running Windows 10, although it originally came with Windows 7, as you can tell by the sticker. It has built-in NVIDIA graphics, so that is cool. GeForce GT 240M, I don't really know much about these things. That's... I really want to know more about computers, because I love computers, but I don't know where to figure out about them, but Intel Pentium, this thing is extremely fast at browsing the internet, so I don't know if they upgraded that. I'm, I know it's, some laptops do support changing the, you know, cores, but I don't, no, I don't think they did, I just think it's kind of fast, but yeah, this thing is really cool. It has a giant screen, no touch screen, I don't really care though. Um, it has no battery, but it's, you know, laptops still work without batteries, and I, my charger just barely fits in. If you move it a little bit, nothing happens, it, it kind of turns off, because it messes up. But this thing had no password, it has pr practically nothing on it. I tried to reset it earlier, but it messed up, so I'm going to have to do it again. It has a touch bar, which is kind of cool. S t t suck on that, Apple. It's kind of cool. But, uh... Yeah, not really much else to say. It's, it works really well, and I'm so happy that I found this. It was at the Best Buy. I looked in the bin, I didn't see anything, then I looked in that box on top, and I found this, so I just bolted out of there. I bet it totally looked like I was stealing a laptop, but... Yeah, it's a really nice thing. It has uh, 4 gigabytes of RAM, a 1 terabyte hard drive. That's why I write. 1,000 gigabytes is 1 terabyte. Quick maths. No, but yeah. Yeah, that's pretty much all I can really say about it. Um, yeah, it's kind of dirty. It's kind of hard to see in the video, but it's really dirty. It's also got this. I, I cleaned it a little bit, but, uh, yeah, I didn't really clean it that much. I just got all the dust off, but, yeah, it works perfectly fine. As you can see, the touchpad works. It's a very responsive touchpad, too, and it's really good, but I'm going to try, in fact, to do it reset it again, but, yeah, I'll see you guys next video. Peace out. Another thing I'd like to mention, actually, is that the keys, somebody messed them up, and instead of it being QWERTY, they put AZ. I mean, it still does Q, like, see if I backspace and it put, I put A, it's Q, and, yeah, I'm afraid to pop up the keys, because I don't, some laptops don't support that, and I don't know if I'm going to break the keys, but, yeah, I guess I'll have to see. But, yeah, everything's messed up, like, the Z is over there, it's mainly things on this side, and also the M. For some reason they put that there and now the M's there. I don't know. But yeah, I guess that's the end of the video now. Peace out.